everybody surf fishing florida we're back at new smyrna beach it's high tide right now we're going to be after the whiting bluefish sharks redfish or whatever we can catch let's do it well here's the the new setup for today the combo 80 with the 80 gorilla hook on the left with the gopro her in the middle with the little star rod and the 550 ssg to catch the bait with the fish bites and the sand fleas and then i put her ocean master out i just hope a big black tip doesn't smoke us and bend that hook out i don't like using the j hooks for the black tips but we're fishing for the redfish i didn't think i would get this second rod out these conditions are pretty good a little bit of seaweed but no current She hasn't caught nothing in about 45 minutes. Okay, that's fantastic. Those whiting are perfect. So we've been here two hours and she's got three whiting and I caught one. So we do have a lot of bait. I want to concentrate on using the whiting heads, at least on the Ocean Master for sure. Well, I, I wasn't going to put it out after what happened last trip with me running all over the place. But I'm putting the Ocean Master out with three and a half foot of 480 cable and a 10-0 Gamagatsu 4X strong J-hook. The black tips will straighten them out, but that's gonna be better for the redfish. If I would've had that hook on last time, we probably would've caught that big redfish. Okay, we got something here. I don't know what it is. Where's he at? Okay, I'm gonna try to go get this thing. No, he's a small black clip. Not a black nose. Yeah. It's about four feet. Okay, he's about a four foot black tip. We'll yeah. definitely take that. Yeah. Still after the redfish though. All right, good job. Okay, careful. <laughs> I, I thought he was bigger than that. Let go, let go. He'll go. Okay, definitely some excitement. Four foot black tip. First one we caught under five foot in over two years. If we get them, they're usually big ones. But we're still after the giant redfish that we missed the other day. So here goes another whiting head, and that's what I'm gonna use on this rod most of the day. Okay, here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna start running these little chunks on the 80 gorilla hook. Little small chunks specifically for the big redfish. That hook is really exposed. 
So we should be hooking these fish, but we're just missing a ton of them, no matter how much I expose the hook. So we gotta get one. Well, I actually get to film her catching one. She's not catching those monster whiting like on the last trip. But that's okay. For the gorilla hook and this other gamagatsu hook I'm using, they're fine. Yeah, that's fine. I can put the head on the Ocean Master and a chunk on the gorilla hook. All right, how many is that? Number five? Six? Just like the other day, she's she's really into her little bait rod. I'm going to go ahead and be grabbing the cut bait rod, which really with those big chunks for the bluefish anyway, they're smaller chunks for the redfish. Okay, that thing was on there the whole time with the rod just bouncing, it was bothering her. Ah! No, go ahead, let him go. That's probably, what, nine or ten whiting already? That's two little chunks that the bluefish ripped off. So now I'm going back to the little whiting heads, cutting the meat back, and the hook is pretty exposed because we're still after the redfish. So I'm not going to put that bluefish rig on. Hey, he got something. I don't know what it is. Oh, was it jump over there? I don't know. Might be a little shark. It could be our redfish. What is it? It's a little black nose. Oh. It's a little black nose. No, I think that's a baby black tip. Another baby black tip. Here. You, oh, you by yourself or you getting it? Oh no! I told you it's a baby black That's tip. That's another baby black tip. I told you. Okay. That's a little baby black tip. Yeah, another baby black tip. I mean, not black nose, uh, black tip, baby black tip shark. The baby black tip. Yeah. Go. Go. Hey, bye bye. I guess it's going to be baby black tip shark day on the whiting heads. All right, it's an hour before low tide. We've been here almost six hours and we got the two little black tips. What I did is I took the Ocean Master and moved it on the left instead of the right because you could see the sandbar was, the cut was a little shallow over there. All I'm doing is throwing these rods about 20 yards out maybe even 15 yards. I want them in the middle of the cut for the redfish, which is basically what I've been doing all day. It was a little bit deeper, you know, around high tide. The redfish will cruise right down that cut in really shallow water, three feet deep. So that's what we're fishing for today. We're just getting the sharks while we're waiting. Okay, we got another one. I'm thinking another small shark, but man, we're after the redfish. Okay, that's the third, 
Number three on the little baby black tips. He's probably about three feet long or so. They fight a little bit harder than the black nose. Good looking shark. Yeah. All right, let me get him off. Okay, baby, black tip number three. All on the little whiting heads too, that's all they want. Still after the redfish, we keep thinking these are the redfish. The, 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 the little tiny one I caught on the last trip, that was a little black tip too. He was just so damn small, there wasn't any black tips on him. Let go, he'll go. Good job, we gotta run about 35 yards to go get the rod. All right, another whiting head going out. So all three of those little black tips were on the whiting head, but we're still after the redfish. And like I said, I'm throwing it 15, 20 yards out, right in that first cut. So we'll just take the black tips, that's fine. All right, we're wrapping it up. Another long trip, more than nine hours. We got three small black tip sharks and she caught about 15 whiting, so another long trip.